So we are going to be practicing with addition. So third grade addition. All right, so if we look here, we're always going to start at our ones place. So our ones place is here. This is our ones, our tens, our hundreds. And we always start with our ones place. So if I look here, I'm going to add seven plus three. Well, I know seven plus three makes 10, but I can't put 10 there because I can only put one digit in this place value. So I'm going to put my zero here and put my one at the top, but I'm actually not bringing over one. I'm actually bringing over 10 but I'm going to write it like this because we're not writing it in expanded form. So now I'm gonna say one plus five plus three. Well, one plus five plus three is nine. So I don't have to regroup any numbers there. And now I can add four plus one is five. So my answer is 590. All right, let's try another one. All right, so nine plus eight. So again, I'm gonna start with my ones tens, hundreds, thousands, right? Always start at your smallest place value. And if I look, I'm going to have, this is divided up. So I'm gonna look here. I can only put, if you look, there's only one digit here and one digit here. So I can only put one digit in each place value. So if I add nine plus seven, nine plus seven, is going to be 17. So I cannot write 17 here. Instead, I'm gonna put a seven, bring my one to the top, okay? That one, I'm actually bringing it over as 10, because remember 17 is a 10 and a seven. So I'm going to leave my seven here and bring that 10 up to the top, okay? But I'm writing it as a one. So one plus two plus six is going to give me nine. I don't have to regroup on that one. Now I'm gonna to go to the next place value, the hundreds. Four plus six. Four plus six I know makes 10, but I cannot put a 10 here, so I'm gonna put a zero, carry my one to the top. Now again, I'm actually carrying it as a thousand over. Okay, so one plus one is two, two plus three is five, and my answer is 5,097. Let's look at if I add another number in. If I add in another number, I'm, my strategies are still going to stay the same. My strategies are not changing. My strategies are going to still stay the same. Now, I can also remember this is like 190 and 1. This is 452. And this is 206. Okay, so that's another strategy. I can write it in expanded form and solve, okay? So let, we're gonna do it both ways so that you can see. So I'm gonna add, again, this is my ones, my tens, my hundreds. So I'm gonna add my ones place. I always start at my smallest place value. One plus two plus six. Well, one plus two plus six I know is nine because one plus two is three and three plus six is nine. Okay, if I add over here, I would still get nine because one plus two plus six. All right, I'm gonna go to my next place value, which is my tens. So nine plus five is 14. So I'm gonna put my four here, but I'm gonna carry my one to the top because I have to add my one to that. So if, let's look over here. If I add 90 plus 50, I would end up with 140, but I can't put 140 here I because that is too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put my 40 here and my 100 comes to the top, okay? Now I'm going to add 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, so I end up with... 849. Now, if I add my expanded form, 100 plus 100 is 200. 200 plus 400 is 600. 600 plus 200 is 800. And if I look, if I make this into 
standard form, I would have 849. So it would be the same if I did it in expanded form or if I did it in standard algorithm. Remember, pick the strategy that works for you that gets you to the correct answer. All right, let's try another one. So I'm going to say 6 plus 1 plus 4. Well, I know that 6 plus 4 makes 10. So really all I have to do is say 10 plus 1 is going to give me 11. So I'm going to put my 1, carry my 1 to the top. And if I look here again, well, I know this is 4. 1 and 3 is 4, right? And then this is 6. That would make my 10. So I would have 10 there. And then all I need to do is add my 5 and my 1. So 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 plus 1 is 16. So I'm going to put my 6, carry my 1 to the top. Because remember, I can only put one number in each place value. Now I'm going to add 1 plus 5 plus 4. Well, 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. So my answer is 1,000. 61. All right, let's look at it as a word problem. A truck driver, driver travels 2,428 miles in one week. So let's circle our part of our problem. He travels 2,473 miles the following week. How many miles does, the tra does he travel in all during the two weeks? So that means we're going to, if they say in all, what does in all mean? Well, that means that I know that I'm going to add. Right? So that keyword there is in all. And all is telling me I'm going to add. And if I look, I have 2,428 and 2,473. So that means that I'm going to add 2,428 plus 2,473. Because remember that and all means I'm going to add. All right, so 8 plus 3 is going to be 11. So I'm going to put my 1 here. Remember, I cannot put more than one digit in each place value. And I'm going to carry my 1 to the top. That makes my 11. 1 plus 2 plus 7. Well, I know that 1 and 2 makes 3, and 3 and 7 make a 10. So I'm going to put my 0, carry my 1 to the top, because remember, I can only put one number in each place value. All right, 1 plus 4 plus 4. Well, 4 plus 4 is 8, and 8 plus 1 would give me 9. And then I'm going to add my, and there's nothing for me to regroup, so I don't have to bring over any number to the top. So 2 plus 2 is 4. So I'm going to end up with 4,901. Keep practicing your addition.